I can't beatbox, man. I'm just a rapper. Are you, are you an MC or are you an, a rapper? An MC. I do grime. I slept the whole way through, bro. I woke up in South Africa. I'm hearing how the music culture, especially the underground music culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. is like hand in hand with the taxi service, which is a bit, I don't understand how that can work. Like the taxi drivers are like the coolest guys around. They're like the coolest yeah, guys around. Like when you farm in Township, like they like the coolest guy, because like oh, you already yeah. have the car, your six, car six. is loud, you know? It's almost like they're that first DJ. Because okay. if they think anything is hot, they're gonna be playing it and bumping it So they're it all like the, the tastemakers, that they kind of decide in a, in a what's way. hot. That's it. In a way, like because of and how many trips they do on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. you could be, you could get like hundreds of people hearing your song every, every day. day. Okay, work. If your music's playing in the taxis, you're popping basically. In Durban, they have eco. It's like a subgenre of like house music. Okay, sick. But like we all get it. Right now we're heading to Epangeni and then we go to a place called Engwelezane and that's where I'm from. Being from the UK, we are very ignorant to like what goes on outside yeah, of the UK, yeah. especially like rural areas like yeah. where you're from. Like, so to a lot of people, like back, I could I could imagine my brethren saying to me, "Oh, how would you even watch YouTube? Like where you're from? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know, it's like proper proper, proper ignorant yeah, stuff like that." But yeah. like, like, so how did you first get into we it? We used to make these bump okay. compilations and have like. Who's the guy, DJ Sammy? I got hooked to the sound of it, the way it okay, sounded. Okay. And then there was also like Linkin Park. Like okay, the stuff okay. they used to do back in the day. It sounds hip hop, but it's all glitchy yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. Linkin Park and DJ Sammy. Right. What a <laughs> mix. Your postcode don't make you a gangster. You're not bad, your area is. Why grime though? Being from London, you will understand grime. Like it's, it's not something you can shy away from or hide from. You might not like it, you might not do it. You might do rap or hip hop but you understand Graham and you understand why it's important to the UK. When you have rituals, usually people have played drums and it's really like hard, bass, like heavy. You almost feel like your chest is gonna burst out and stuff. And I like that. I, if people listen to my music and they feel like that's gonna happen to them, I feel like I'm a success. When I was doing the music video and I had Ipesh, so that traditional thing is called Ipesh, and then I was skateboarding, it's like, Black people were looking at me like, okay, that's weird. It's almost like we're not supposed to be proud of it because it's it's not Western enough or not civilized. It's the same with my music as well. The more Western you sound, the more famous you can be because you sound like something that we hear on radio all the time. <laughs> I can't beatbox, man. I'm just a rapper. Are you, are you an MC or are you an, a rapper? An MC. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Check it. Yeah, yeah. Way before the iPhone, the man and bought a Mac around. Tell them fuck the hype chat. Link me on the battleground. Swamp beef. Got me loading up the cattle now. The little grind boy is rapping better than the rappers now. Wait, I'm a rapper though. I was doing rap before. It don't even matter now, car. I was fucking clap before. And I little black mites, the one that all the girlies catting for. We don't get the same love. Look, I'm feeling like Macklemore. Hey, that's it. <laughs> Like for the young ones, like we just like 
like guys would buy like cars and then just park them out like that and then just blast music out of it. Okay, yeah. we would like we'll blast it from like a from like my phone or like oh. old school Nokia or something and just be spitting back to back, just be rapping back to back. Everyone, yeah, that's everyone have an eight bar. And that's more of our culture. Yeah. That's why it's proper what I do is proper linked with the streets. <laughs> How's it done? Mm -hmm. Fuck, this is forever, man. Stonesy, Stonesy, this is my brother. This is why I do like everything that I do, bro. Sick, like, sick, now sick, I'm sick. as tall as him, but I was probably <laughs> like little. Yeah, no, I'm very proud, I'm very proud of him. Hello. This is my mom. Nice to meet you, what's happening? This is home, bro. This smells like home cooking. I know bare people that will spit on this. Yeah. This is that like six, seven drill shit. Do you make beats for you to dance to? I've never seen like a producer dancer link up. Did you know what's so mad? I, I, I relate to this so, so yeah. much. Like, this is where we started as well. Um, this is too good a mic. This yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now it's all yeah, pipes. Yeah, it's all we like... We wouldn't have had a mic like that. We would have, we would have literally bought a mic from Pound Match. You know, from Pound Match. In the dark night, yeah. We'd have these speakers, but they never worked. Okay. But then we take pictures so that people think that they work. Uh, <laughs> but we actually use them as the chairs. Art of, the art of marketing yeah, and promotion. But we, actually, we actually use them as chairs and stuff. Do the neighbors complain about noise? They can complain, but like there's nothing they can like do about it really. Because <laughs> it's a township, like there's no like cops or whatever. Like, okay. You can't call anyone yeah, on yeah, us. Yeah. It's just like, oh, sorry. If, okay, if yeah, I like yeah. Yeah, but sorry, I, yeah. Wish, I wish we had that. Yeah, no, you, was getting, no... you was getting feds at your door saying turn that shit. What? Yeah. Nah, if it was too loud. Like, like music was like was like my way of getting out of like my situation or like my environment. For me it was it was just like narrating what we was going through. But it is important to come back. That's one thing I've noticed because it's easy to get lost in, in this world, world of music, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But what we do isn't always the reality of things, do you know what I mean? The yeah. music is the reality, but you know the whole Flashing lights, the cameras, yeah, all of that. It's not reality. It's so not that this. This is reality. This so. is the important stuff. If I change, then it's like I'll come back and I'll be a stranger to them. Yeah, I'd rather be a stranger to someone. See someone else. Yeah, yeah of course, you course, know, course. Not my family. <laughs> Stormzy was asking me, what is Ikomu? I was like, dog, I can't really <laughs> answer that because I don't know, it. I'm not in it, but you guys are. It's a sound that comes from Durban. So it's a kind of sound that's always on Jalampus in the taxis, uh, yeah. clubs. We had the idea of Durban quiet. You just want a straight piece where you can just dance like. Broken beats, you know. There's something where I'm from called UK Funky. It sounds so similar to Gum. How do they hear about it? Is it like social media or is it just like word of mouth? Word of mouth, yeah. Word of, word of mouth. mouth, you know. And yeah. anyone's welcome to come. Yeah, anyone's anyone. welcome anyone. to come. Just come through and just play grime. Yeah, just like, play, just play like... Grime <laughs> <laughs> if I start making gum, does that mean I have to dance or I have to know how to dance? It'll make you dance. It'll, It'll make you dance. It'll make you dance. <laughs> yeah. I can play maybe gum. We can play commercial music, but old yeah. people will dance with gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something different. The car is the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this type of thing would work in the UK? Like yeah. just people just parking through and, and oh, what, parking up like park, this, parking like this, yeah. and just playing. <laughs> I would love to say yes. Yeah. If, if I did, this is very like everyone's just come for the love of music and that brings like people it. together. So hopefully it could. But in London, the police will come and <laughs> just like, like send everyone home, shut it down. Like, yeah, that wouldn't. We wouldn't even get to do this. I wish we linked up in car parts like this. Yeah, man, it's been a good trip. I've learned a lot, a lot of new sounds. There's been a lot of stuff playing. I'm saying, what's that like? Even yeah. just now, I was talking to the taxi driver, like, wow, what's that? Yeah. Because when we first linked up in London, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you were trying to explain it to me. And yeah, I, I can understand it, but coming here now, it, I've yeah. absorbed it, I've embraced it, I've been 
I've been in it. So yeah. now you need to come to South London and I need to come. I need to come see your mom. Yeah, you need to and come. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, mine, I, mine won't be as fun though. <laughs> what I find sick is that it's familiar. Like it mm. sounds similar to the funky, the house, the Afro beats. It's like a mix of all that. And being yeah. from London, you can't escape them sounds. So. The, the gap's not as big as we thought, so yeah. when we get in the studio and we get together, I got it's you, like, I got you. Yeah, man, it's, it, it's man. been amazing, nice bro. Thank, Thank you, bro. bro. Easy, man.